This video is to help you structure your revision. What should you know for your exams? And it's related to the chapter Characteristics of Life, covered at the beginning of fifth year in Leaving Cert Biology. If you know this chapter, you should be able to define life. You should be able to list the five characteristics of life and write a brief explanation of each of those five characteristics. In our class, to help us remember them, we use the rhyme Oscar never eats red radishes. So that's just one way of making things simple for yourselves, making up rhymes. So we have organisation, we have nutrition, we have excretion, we have response, and then we have reproduction. And that's half of the work done, just listening them. So be very careful when you're writing down your notes. Be very specific with what you're actually including. Introduce each of those characteristics as if they're definitions. And in fact, in your book, they are surrounded by little boxes as if they are definitions. Learn them really well. Also, it's a good opportunity to look for other definitions in that chapter. For example, continuity of life and metabolism are worth learning. So how do you go about studying? How do you start studying leaving cert biology? Well, for this chapter, you could watch the original bugbear video, which is more detailed, but you must, must, must use your textbook. That is a sense and using your textbook you're going to write notes, short notes, made of bullet points, use lots of colour and draw lots of cool diagrams and label those diagrams so that's a great way of helping you revise. So when you are writing your notes they should be short, concise, not long, you should have lots of diagrams, they should be colourful and most importantly you should write them using your textbook. Then when you've made your short notes you're going to then start to do exam questions and when you do use your exam questions you're going to search for the answers and make sure that they're right. Always use your textbook and always use your notes when you're answering exam questions. It's the only way to get an A. So that's basically it. Write summary notes from your textbook, draw diagrams, list the definitions perfectly, make sure your notes are nice and short and neat with lots of cool diagrams and then after that answer lots of questions, exam questions and search for the answers. So I hope that helped. The very best of luck.